Okay, everybody, I um, ran a tone generator in there and didn't want you to hear that high-frequency um, tone uh, from my peak generator. Uh, it's a piece of equipment I have hooked up to my soundboard. So, um, as you can see, I've got my first 10 on here, and then I've got um, 11, 12, 13, and then we'll jump over here to 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all the way to 25. So uh, this is just giving me a start, and then uh, that way I can start wiring this into the um, Hellfire directly, and then um, then I'll be able to pull this out and then uh, solder the rest of them. Um, unfortunately, uh, all of this didn't come in, so uh, so I just like bag it. I'm gonna go ahead and get on it and give you guys a video on the hellfire here so like again um i use the color resistor color code brown is one red is two orange is uh three yellow is four green is five blue is six purple violet whatever you want to call it uh those two colors a is seven then gray is eight white is nine and then black is ten or zero depending on what you're doing so I always stand I always start with uh, with brown and work all the way across so now now brown will come over here to 11 and then the next set and then the next set so um, anyways I'm a little bright My air conditioner is being picked up a little bit uh, so all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Hellfire and uh, rearrange the camera, and then we'll start working on that. So I'll see you in a short. Okay, everybody. Uh, so in this box here is the Hellfire project rebuild. Uh, you probably saw the, tra uh, the, the trailer here. So this is a Hellfire. Uh, this is a board that I built uh, for my personal use in in fireworks, uh, is this really going to stay? Okay, yeah, stuff like that. Let's see what's in. I don't remember what's in some stuff here. Okay, oh, okay, I got a little bit of hardware in here. All right, that'll work. I'll just set that aside. Okay, so um, anyways, th the goal here is I'm going to have a switch. This is going to be the army switch. This is going to be the uh, uh, to arm each one of these banks. And then this one here is the charging key. Um, and then the power supply also has uh, t an armed power supply as well. So this is going to have safety features. Normally, it just, you just plugged it in and everything was ready to rock and roll. Someone can go like this. Oh, what's this doing? Light off your show without you being there. So uh, I'm putting in some safety features in here. So um, let's see. What I want to do here is I want to lift this out. <coughs> so it... It did do it did do a couple shows and um, um, so we're gonna have to be doing some disassembly here too. So you can see the old wiring here. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so this is all like 30 gauge wire. It barely lit some of the uh, effects. So uh, <clears throat> anyways, so I'm gonna do some disassembly here first, and then we'll just go from there. Set this on the floor. All right, bring my lamp over here so we can get some better light here. And oh, would help if I plug the bloody thing back in. Light, light on, take two. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do some disassemble here, and then uh, we'll get this old wiring out of here. Um, this wire here, I don't know if you can see it well. This is called magnet wire. This is a good bridging wire. Uh, so, and I'm going to, of course, disconnect these old LEDs, and I'm going to put in some bicolor LEDs. Um, so the reason I'm putting in bicolor LEDs is when the system is in not in the arm position. Uh, they'll show up green. As I'm loading the effects into the board, they'll just show up. I don't have to turn the board on. The, the power supply has to be turned on, of course. So. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
Sorry, my camera here is a digital zoom. It is not smooth. It's choppy. That's one of my other goals is to uh, uh, purchase another camera to where I can, and I can just use this for whatever. Uh, come on. Oh, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Come on. I want too much heat on that. Okay. And I hang on my uh, I hang on to my uh, these LEDs because I might use them for a different project or something like that. So, um, so yeah, I rarely throw stuff away. It's a habit. And I'll clean the wire off too. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I got a total clean up in here. Yeah, this shot me a couple shows, so. Hot. 700, 750 degrees, yeah, that's hot. That resistor was totally not. That one came off. Okay, so these resistors got a little warm, so I'm gonna have to check the value to make sure the value is correct. Cause sometimes you get them overheated, they tend to drift, and uh, yeah, that's not really good. All right, I'm gonna go into time lapse, folks, and then uh, and then I'll uh, do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing. So we'll see on the other side. I may have to stop the camera to um, fix the audio problem. For some reason, it just stops working on channel uh, A. So and uh, it seems to be getting a little soft. So all right, I'll see you all on the other side of time lapse.
Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, it's behaving itself now. Okay, so, um, just got this all cleaned up. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, all these components. I'm going to have to test these resistors, make sure they didn't drift from the heat. Uh, they do have a tendency once in a while to do that. Um, and then if they are not too bad, uh, fortunately I, I have extra resistors, so. Yeah. These are one kilo ohm resistors, so if I'm over uh, a certain amount of voltage, uh, I should be fine. So, uh, But I'm going to go ahead and take these off in-house because I'm going to redo them into um, into uh, a, like a light pack and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I'll do that. And I also got to check these switches too because tend tend to... Uh, they tend to go bad after you solder them. This is why I'm rebuilding this. All right. I'm going to check my bridge here, my bus. And so with that. Alright, I'm gonna take my take my glasses off and uh use my other uh device here. So hold on, I'm gonna bump the headset a little bit. Let me get down in here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I got to break out the meter. It's always important to have one of these. Uh because if you don't and if you run into a problem, you're going to be screwed. Yeah. Must be 8 o'clock. Hey, it's on time this time. It was a, it used to be about a minute and a half ahead of, t ahead of time. So, <laughs> so it's 8 o'clock here at uh, Sprecha Tech HQ. Alright, I got tone. Uh... Oh, that's right. That's still got some insulation on it. All right, I got to pick a point. Uh, let's see. Let's grab one of my alligator clips. Another important thing. Alligator clips. Lots of, lots of alligator clips. Okay, I gotta be careful. My iron's still cooling down here. 750 degrees maximum temp. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna put an ouch on you. Um, I should have rigged up a microphone and put it next to the uh, meter so I can hear it over the uh, hear it over. So I gotta slide the ear off. Okay, so, ooh. sorry about that, way too bright, I saw the light flicker, so like, uh-oh, I'm peeking, so, alright, so, let's see, Sound do good. Uh, 
All right, that one's dead. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to buy some buttons. I'll have to see if my source still has them available. Four. Okay, I've got a couple of these that are bad. Um, uh, and I got one that's got a bridge on it. Uh, let's see. No tool to have something like this. Iron still hot. Just got myself. All right, that should kill that. Not short. Yep, it did. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a couple of them that are going to have to be replaced. So, um, that's going to happen. Um, so, anyways. Um, I think we've got enough here to go on. Uh, I know I've got to finish um, widening some the pilot holes over here to uh, put the last of the uh, buttons in on here over here so um now yeah, i just have to find the drill bit that i used and uh do that in the meanwhile um off camera i'll go through testes find out who has shifted um uh, rarely that happens but it, it never hurts to check uh so and then i'll go back through off camera and mark the one it's bad and uh so <clears throat> Anywho, um, so I'll be back and uh, we'll probably start uh, wiring. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I'll often I'll mark the one it's it's bad and I'll just go ahead and pull it out of circuit and then I'll just replace it and order some more or more of these buttons and stuff. Uh, I'll take all these out. Yeah, lots and lots of work.
Yeah. They're hiding. So, all right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and cut off, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. And, uh, and then we'll get, get into the position. I'll start um, uh, going at it. I'm going to actually wire this group up here first, and then I'll work down here. Um, i got to find my magnet wire, too, because um, this is actually a good gauge. So i got to find this stuff here first, and then uh, I'll go at it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, my parakeets are playing, so, anyways, yeah, uh, grab one more, what the heck, so, anyways, I'll go ahead and let you, uh, we'll catch you on the other side, and, and then I'll get to, uh, sorry, so I'll see you guys in a bit, catch you later. Alright, everybody, uh, just went off camera, and, uh, I only found one button that's bad, and I like out of a hundred plus connections, that's pretty good. I'm just pulling out some of the components that I've already ordered and already been in for a while, because I'm getting ready to mount the connector. So, by the way, these are the bicolor LEDs I'm going to be using. Uh, I've already labeled one side to make sure that they are. Uh, uh, the proper polarity and these are going to be on my uh, these LEDs here are going to be on the uh, test box at the uh, at the rail so that way as I'm putting stuff on uh, the uh, igni igni <coughs> excuse me uh, initiators or igniters um, onto the system it'll start lighting up and i'll have a way to see that uh directly down at the range and still have to run back and forth on the control panel so this is the uh seven position switch that i'm going to use to uh arm each individual bank and then the switch will trigger these relays and then uh and that's the safety and that's what I'm going to use, and that yeah. there is one more key, which is going to be the charge key, and that's another relay that's going to be in place for that. So, so anyways, that's what the game plan is. What the heck is this stuff? It's like this went through a gravel pit or something. Huh. Okay, I don't know what those are. Um, they're not reacting to each other as I'm rubbing them against each other. Alright. Um, this was just a shunt that I could put on the end of the rail to, to uh, check uh, all the uh, connections. All at once and making sure all the lights are working on the panel. Uh, this is the part of the old system. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here because I'm actually going to thread in another pair of these in for uh, either for uh, for the finale and the salute. So they're going to be a designated uh, setup. So I'm actually going to add a couple more of these in uh, the into there. That way, um, well, I'll have the ability to do that. Okay. So, so now I gotta figure out how to like, make this hold in here while I am uh, soldering the um, panel. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and see. There's multiple ways. Of, as the old saying is, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, let's see what we can do this way. There. Of course, I gotta make sure I got the uh, panel in the right direction, too. Alright. So, yep. I 
may have to take this block off here and so I can solder that on. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that that section off. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yep, that's right where I need to be at. Okay. All right, where did my screw? There we go. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's do this. I may just take all of these off, but it keeps the uh, panels to part together. These make real good uh, screw holders when you're working on projects. I got lots of these. They work great for doing that. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I barely missed that one. <laughs> Gee, Whittakers. Okay. Take my knife out of the way. All right. All right. Making sure that's the top. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so how would I'm gonna do this? Let's see. If I was smart, I would do what we call board soundboard the way of the soundboard. Yeah, it's a meter hardware. <laughs> oh, there they are. Ugh. See, I uh, I keep keep a lot of hardware in those things. Okay. Oh, nine o'clock here at HQ, and it's on time. Almost to the second. All right. So, oh, you know what? I may have enough to do this whole project. I may not need all the other spools. All righty. So, okay. So, before I get too carried away, I need to find out who. Okay. This guy's number one. So in the order of the lights, uh, the, the buttons, it's red, white, blue, green, yellow, red, white, blue, green, yellow. So it's that exact same qu sequence. All right. Let's see if these guys got enough bite to go through that and hold this in. Not going to come up with some crazy ass, crazy rig to hold this in. They might. Okay, just need a couple. I always hang on to my 
these little sc certain screws to uh, do projects. Let's see. And they're going to chase through or what? So, um, gonna first of all, I got to make sure I know where number one's at. So, that's number one. That's the top. So, we're going to. Are they going to thread? Am I going to thread or am I going to have to find something to put on the other side? Well, it feels like it's got a bite there. All right. Oh, nope. I bought that's a boggle. Uh, hmm. What do I have to hold that in? Oh, that's gonna. Oh man, how am I gonna hold that in there? Hmm. Oh, to do. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit of a problem here. Hmm. This is um some smaller gauge uh, slip tube. I'm just wondering if that might be an idea. No. Let's see. Sometimes your best laid plans, you think you got everything right, and it ain't happening. So I do what I do best. I improvise. That might just work. Okay, we're gonna do with the other screw. This is why I keep multiple of them. Okay, like I said, when in doubt, improvise. So what I'm doing is I'm using my alligator clips as uh, uh, as anchors, and I'm doing this totally blind. Okay, that's gonna work. Alrighty, all right. So I'm gonna get my iron back to heat and uh, get onto that. Yeah. Okay, soldering iron is heating up. And I want to make sure this is going to be comfortable. Okay, so now
Alright. So I'm trying to figure out how best way to lay this so um so I can yeah, you know, if I have to I have repair I can have room to repair and stuff. So that's that's gonna be the critical thing. And and, and as you cut, you're going to lose that length of wire. So that's why I didn't. That's why I don't stretch it out and and uh, go. Okay, I'm going to make a cut here and cut here. So that's why I'm doing it this way. That way I can uh, uh, correctly lengthen the cables. And then what I'll do is I'll use um, looning uh, string and put it all in a nice. Uh, order fashion my goal is just to lay it right like this and then that way um, it will go out uh, out to the firing down to the uh, rails or slats or pods depending on how I'm gonna do my show so <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab a wire and cut um, I want to keep that I want to keep that tauntness so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tautness and I'm going to go three buttons over and then I'll cut from there. And I'll do that with each, each one. Okay, there's my first cut. And get my wire cut, my wire strippers. There's my solder. Okay. Now the thing, your rule of thumb is always ten uh, your wire. <clears throat> I'm gonna be off camera here trying to do that. All right. And then you tin your connection stuff. So the bus is gonna be towards the LEDs. And then uh, that way it just makes it easier. And just right. Now remember, I'm only doing this uh, quickly. <clears throat> so all right, I'm gonna go red. Come across, go three buttons over. Alright, so this is going to take a while, so we'll go time lapse. So I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, well, uh, I don't understand why that happens. Okay, all right, so I got the first 10 uh, done. I'm going to take the alligator clip so I can get back to this connector, and then I'll start adding the next group of 10. So basically, you can see the sequencing here. I'm uh, moving each wire, and each wire is going to be cut three pins over. I might be able to do this... Um, reverse pattern now that i've got a layout i might be able to do it that way so uh, i'll try a couple i'll try a couple areas and then if it does great if it doesn't uh uh go back so it looks like i'm going to have plenty of wire to do this whole panel so uh which is a good thing let me grab number one here got wire all over the floor now i gotta make a real hold uh a spool holder and So this is a spool of wire I'm using. This is 20 gauge. Uh, not solid. It's not a solid wire. So we'll just go ahead and do this. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to the button and then I'm going to trace backwards. So... Uh, but that's not going to work. Alright. Yeah, it's totally not going to work. So, I don't know how much of this you can see. Let's loosen the... Okay, where's my... Oh, there it is. Ah. Do, 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 do. I have a LED, some LEDs on this thing. Ah, okay. I'm gonna have to take the connector out and clamp it. Okay, damn it. All right. Um. Yeah, let's do that.
<sighs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back in time lapse, and I may have to stop the camera to uh, re trigger uh, the camera's uh, audio. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do some more time lapse. So I'll see you on the other side. 